from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Open Line. Hi, everybody. Rory Johnston with you. Let me get squared up here. Welcome to Open Line on a Thursday night here in October. We appreciate you joining us here on News Channel 5 Plus. It is Open Line, which means we are opening up our phone lines so you can join us in the discussion tonight. An important discussion tonight. Kind of like an onion. We're going to peel away the layers. And it's a topic that uh, is something you probably have heard a lot about on TV, a lot of advertising. And that is the payday lending industry here in Tennessee and also how to navigate your financial future when it comes to just overall finances and budgeting and, um, and maybe getting some help if you're struggling. And we all know so many people are struggling right now. So don't be afraid to pick up the phone, 737 plus, because we have a very special guest, and that is Marla Williams. Uh, Marla is the managing attorney for the Legal Aid Society here in Middle Tennessee and I believe the Cumberland Plateau area. Marla, good to see you. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Doing a little bit of a background here that you folks sent to me and, and, and did some other research. It is fascinating because it really depends on what state you live in and the laws and, and you know, in particular, statutes in place in particular uh, states. Uh, so we're going to get into that. First of all, Legal Aid Society. Let's start with that. You've been with them for quite a while. I have. Tell the viewers what the Legal Aid Society, I mean, what a terrific group offering so many important services. Uh, tell us about it. Sure. The Legal Aid Society is a private nonprofit law firm, and we represent individuals um, who are meet our income guidelines and you know some of the funding we have we can represent individuals with um, more income than than um, under in some types of cases mm -hmm. but we um, because I sorry we, to interrupt because uh, you know everyone knows uh, if you need legal help or even if it's just advice maybe you need actual representation in a particular case it's expensive right uh, very expensive so you offer all these services plus educational stuff too. That's right? correct. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we we represent individuals in 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 court and in in regard to the mm -hmm. educational services. We focus a lot on community education. Uh, so we go out into the communities and provide um, information. Um, lots of times uh, we want people to. Um, have the information so that they can avoid legal problems uh, or if they have one they might not have identified that legal problem and we can give them information um, and to tell them um, what the laws are and and often people realize that they have been wronged and yeah. um, didn't know that they had a problem at all and I would imagine, uh, it, it, you know, in some of these cases, it's gratifying work, I'm sure. You've been in it a long time. Um, but the feeling that someone may have, especially someone who may not have the means, and, you know, some of these, as we will get into the, the payday lending industry, these are well-funded companies, and they can be very aggressive. And, you know, emotionally, the toll this can take on people, your clients, I would imagine, is, right. is really heavy. Um, right. So to be able to be there for someone, and, and then, you know, I'm, I'm sure that you're pleased when someone comes in and didn't, didn't even realize that you offered so much. Right. Right. Yeah. Often we, um, someone comes in for another problem, mm -hmm. and just in interviewing them, we learn that they have many others. That they weren't even um, aware of. That right. they weren't aware of, and sometimes the problem they came in about is caused by the other problems right. that they have. Right, yeah, it's mm -hmm. like you can spot it. Mm -hmm. uh, how many on staff? Um, we have 30, a uh, little over 30 mm -hmm. attorneys uh, in eight offices, though. So we've yeah. got our, our, we've got eight offices throughout Middle Tennessee and the Cumberland. So I'm in the Cookville office, and um, and we have an office here in Nashville, Clarksville, Gallatin, Murfreesboro, Oak Ridge. Um, That's great. Columbia. Sure. Nonprofit. How do you get funding? We get funded various ways. Um, 
We have a private bar campaign where private lawyers um, and anyone else can can donate to the Legal Aid Society. We receive funding from the Legal Services Corporation. That's our government funding. Uh, and we have several other types of funding just through grants, like from we have a um, IRS taxpayer, uh, low, low income taxpayer project that where the IRS gives us money to yeah. represent um, low income taxpayers in disputes with the IRS. Mm -hmm. Which makes um, sense. Makes sense. Um, grants to help individuals in specific types of legal um, matters mm -hmm. such as, you know, housing, um, just a variety of grants. Yeah. The lawyers, you have lawyers on staff, but are there also lawyers, you know, I know with the Bar Association they will volunteer their time, but lawyers who, who will maybe take on a pro bono case or at least volunteer some time to, sure. to, for advice and counsel. That's correct. Yeah, we have, um, you know, like you said, lawyers on staff, mm -hmm. but we also have private lawyers who will take on cases pro bono. Yeah. Uh, sometimes um, with their expertise, they, we may ask them to co-counsel with us, mm -hmm. which they do. Uh, and also they spend their time at clinics we may have, like a Saturday yeah. clinic where lawyers, private lawyers come out and uh, meet with clients who are eligible for our sure. services and give them advice. And sometimes they'll even take on the case. Yeah, I know occasionally, hopefully, uh, we respond. but. It, when you hold clinics, um, we try to you know put it out on the newscast to let people know because it's such a valuable, valuable resource. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, before our first break, everybody, we do want to dive in, just kind of talk about this topic of payday lending. Um, it, it can be, it's a it's a very uh, easy way for people to get some money. Right, that's how it's advertised. That's right. Um, and um, I should point out, on the surface, there's nothing illegal. I know there's a, there may be people out there who work for one of the big lending companies who's watching and thinking, "Oh, you're gonna, you're just gonna sit and bash us right now." Um, that's not necessarily the case. But when you start digging a little deeper and you start reading the fine print, because there are some laws in place here in Tennessee that on the surface look like, okay, we're going to control interest rates, which obviously you are charged when you agree to a loan. Um, but there's a lot of fine print where from the beginning to the end, there's a lot of money involved and a lot of pressure on the person that people may not realize when they take out these loans, right? That's correct. Um, there are a lot of these offices, these payday lending around. But, uh, you know, anyone can notice the specific locations are, um, on per you know, right. they're they not are. there for, you know, I right. don't necessarily see a lot of them in wealthier zip codes. Right, right. Talk we, a little bit about that. Most of these um, stores, I'm going to call them, mm -hmm. are located or situated in um, low-income communities mm -hmm. and uh, communities where... Uh, blacks and Hispanics mm -hmm. uh, live. Minority communities. Minority communities, right. Marginalized communities, historically right. marginalized communities. Right. Which we know now, uh, as we look back, um, have, you know, really fallen victim to um, bank practices for years um, where we see maps where there were zones mm -hmm. about loans. So you can't get a loan it, you know, you, you feel kind of forced and vulnerable, and this is the only way, and desperate for money. You go to the payday lender, and then now, if you go and you get a loan and you pay it off in time, you understand what the loan is, okay. But there are problems that arise big time that we're going to talk about tonight. So we really want to hear from uh, some of you. Maybe you've had an experience uh, with one of these uh, stores, as Marla calls them. And we're going to talk about also just, you know, with this economy, we know a lot of folks are struggling out there, um, trying to keep up with just the cost of everything, the cost of living. Hopefully have a little guidance for you and take advantage. Right, right now, give us a call at 737 plus. We hope to be able to help out and provide some good advice and insight. We'll be back right after this.